S&S is known for making cams for many types of motors for many types of reasons. Scott Choval here is the VP of Product Development. We've caught up with him today to find out exactly how S&S develops all the camshafts that they have. Scott, give us a little background on how you guys actually develop your cams. Well, Wally, it's a, we've re we really have the full circle here for cam development. We start with usually a computer modeling system that does two things. One, it, it models the entire valve train, all the parts, the push rods, the rock arms, the valve springs, the cam shape, and make sure that all the harmonics are there. So we can get the most lift, the most area under the curve per se, as possible with the cam. We have also have a computer model set up to do performance evaluations so that when uh, once we have a lobe designed, then we can get it in the right timing and the right duration to make sure that it does the best job it can at whatever RPM or motor combination that, that, uh, that we want to design for. Once we have that, we have downstairs in manufacturing, the complete manufacturing process, we make all of our cams in-house from bar stock, um, fully heat treat them. Well, the heat treating is an out plant, but everything else is done here um, and on top of the line equipment. This stuff's relatively new. It's a Landis grinder, uh, add coal checker. I um, mean, we have, we have everything we need to make the cams. So then we can get prototypes up here, and I've done it in less than a day, actually, which is really amazing. Um, normally, I don't get that lucky, but we're able to actually, if, ever, if all the ducks are in a row, design, uh, make, and test a cam within a day. Wow. And again, that, that's, all the stars got to align right, the right. room in production, but that works pretty well. Um, from there, we not only have three spintrons at our disposal, and a spintron's a valve train dyno, basically. We can install that cam in a motor, the motor goes on the spintron, and then this valve train dyno spins at any RPM we want. We've got a laser positioning sensor to look for valve float or bounce. Uh, we can look at the high-speed photography on the valve springs to see if there's any flutter or anything going on there. So that really tells us if what we did in the computer modeling from the harmonic side is correct. Once we're happy with that, then that same cam can go into a motor and go on either a chassis dyno or an engine dyno or a street bike and see if we got the horsepower and the noise part of it situated. Um, and then of course back and iterate the whole process over again if we need to. But this whole program, or this whole ability that we have in house, coupled with 50 years of motor building experience at SNS Cycle, really gives us an edge that um, it's exciting. Um, we're a, with some of the cams we've done lately are just knockout designs, uh, really focusing on where the customers and the riders need that power. Well, that's for sure. SNS products made here in the USA by Americans. So when you think about it, you buy that SNS cam, it'll make your bagger boogie.